The Prime Minister has ruled out another vote on Brexit under any circumstances. It comes after the former Education Secretary called for a second referendum. Theresa May has also been negotiating with her party on amendments to key Brexit legislation in the House of Commons. And I'm now joined by independent MEP for South East England, Janice Atkinson. Janice, evening to you. Good evening. Well, we've heard that Theresa May has accepted those four amendments from the hard Brexiteers. So we're now close to getting the Brexit you want, aren't we? No, absolutely not, because she, what she's created in this, in this Chequers proposal, and then accepting the uh, just the Brexiteers amendments, don't call them hard Brexiteers, there's only one form of Brexit, and that is Brexit. It's not a hard Brexit, it's not a soft Brexit, it's a Brexit. And what she's created here is she's now become the vassal state for the Tory party. Uh, the Remainers don't believe in it, the ultra Remainers, the Brexiteers don't believe in it, and I know that the EU, Barnier, will actually reject this. So it, she, she's created something that just doesn't fit anybody. Oh, she's and created a compromise. A, uh, another referendum. I don't believe her on that. Well, we'll talk about the referendum. No, we can't and wait a minute. We'll, we'll, talk well, about, we'll talk about the second referendum in a minute. She has created a compromise. Surely it's totally unrealistic to get a clean break from the EU. What she's doing is getting a free trade agreement. This promise will see the end of free movement, the end of EU jurisdiction over British law, no hard border with Ireland, and still do trade deals beyond Europe. So she's not obviously getting that frictionless free trade agreement that Brexiteers think that we can make that clean break. So it's a compromise that is realistic. No, we can't. No, we can't make a clean break because we're still a rule taker. So therefore, we are still the vassal state. Why has why, why have some of our ministers resigned? Why have we got this drip, drip, drip of private pri uh, parliamentary secretaries resigning? Because they've gone back to their constituencies this week and they all had a chance in the past week to read the Chequers paper. And it's unacceptable. That's not what 17.4 million people wanted. They have gone back to their constituencies and over 70 percent of the Tory uh, foot soldiers, the people that deliver the leaf and that pay the money into the Tory party that keeps them afloat have actually rejected this plan. So it doesn't work for them. It doesn't work for us, the Brexiteers. Um, and she will go now, I think, her ult ultimate plan is to go for, or she will be a third referendum, actually, because I don't remember, in 1975, we had a vote to go into the EU, which was a very, very, very different place back then. Uh, two years ago, we had the SECA referendum. We chose to come out. We do not need or want, this country is telling her we do not want a third referendum. So, um, I don't know the public, but hasn't it got a right to, to change its mind? We now know what the realities are of Brexit. Many people voted actually in protest against the EU, didn't they? And never dreamt of Brexit actually happening. We have to acknowledge the regretters, as they're called, don't we? No, because the, consistency, consistently the polls have showed just to, for her to get on with it. And the polls over the weekend were showing 50 to 60 percent of people just want her to get on with it. We don't want this fudged compromise. We just want to leave the EU. If we do not leave the EU in a proper Brexit and go to... And what we should be doing now is going straight to World Trade Organization rules so we can oh. just line up deals with China, Russia and other countries around the world, the US and even President Trump last week said this was not workable and they won't give us a free trade agreement. Now, in a few years' time, 93% of all trade is going to be outside of the EU. There's a big wide world out there and our Commonwealth partners and President Trump and also Russia, and we should be doing free trade agreements. Let's stand up on the world stage again rather than being uh, just a, a maze vassal state that keeping us so allied to the EU. So what you're saying is leave with no deal because that's, of course, what would happen. We go to WTO rules. That would be a disaster for the Northern Ireland and Irish border issue, would it not? And also, we are hearing very sensible views no, from business saying no. a no-deal scenario for Britain's livelihoods, for Britain's businesses and companies would be a disaster. Well, let's look at business. So Airbus, which is actually part funded by the EU and run by a German, is saying, oh, we'll just walk away after the investment in this country. And we've got another big partner in Boeing that's saying, no, we're actually investing in this country. That's more trade, more jobs. So there is a balance here. You have to think about who your true friends are. And actually, I believe in the US rather than rather than um, uh, the German that's running, is very closely allied with Merkel, who's running Airbus.
And you have to look at the, the GDP of this country. And we've got zero practical, zero unemployment. You know, we are a big world player on the stage again. And that's what we should be looking forward to. Right. And, and, and also what the mainstream media is not doing is, and, and I'm, I'm, I know that Russia Today does this, is you, you talk about um, how the EU is changing. They go to elections next May in 2019. The likes of Tusk, the drunken Juncker and the others are not going to be there. They're going to be wiped out. They're going to be decimated, just as all these Remainers and these pro-EU people have been wiped out in Hungary, Poland, Italy and other countries. And I bet you the Swedish Democrats will be in power in September in Sweden. And they want a referendum. They want to come out of the EU. So I'm saying to people, we're not alone here. Be bold. A May must go. We need a Brexiteer in number 10 Downing Street to deliver the will of the people.